Hey everybody, in today's tutorial I'm working with some very exciting new products from Concord and Ninth. These are both super unique and one of them is very cool because it's the first stamp ever to be designed specifically to take advantage of all the fun things about the Misty stamping tool. The first stamp set I'm working with today is the Triangle Turnabout stamp set. This is the one designed for the Misty. And I took the piece of packaging that came with the stamp, drew an X on it. I cut this down to six by six, and I'm adhering a card front to it. I wanted to show you what the stamp did before I explain how you do this, because I think it's more exciting that way. So I'm inking up the stamp in Melon Mambo, and I will stamp this fun, funky, geometric image. And then because it's in the Misty and I can overstamp it, I'm going to do that just to make sure it's perfectly inked. Next, you will rotate your six by six square. Doesn't matter whether it's clockwise, counterclockwise, as long as you do it the same way every time until you're finished with the pattern. Next, clean and dry your stamp. The next ink is Daffodil Delight. Pardon my allergies. I still have allergies. Sorry about that. And you can see how it exactly lines up with the triangles that you previously stamped. It's amazing. So now I can talk about how this was designed and why you need the six by six square behind your cardstock. If you think about the way the Misty is designed with the corner and you look at that stamp, that stamp is not perfectly square. And even if it was, photopolymer has a little lip around the images, so it wouldn't be possible to line it exactly up in a corner and have it rotate perfectly around the center. If you think about rotation, like a turntable or anything that rotates in a circle, it's rotating around the center point, not rotating around the corner. So with the six by six piece of paper underneath this is giving it a center point to rotate around. So those X's are the X that you draw from corner to corner on a six by six piece of cardstock or the packaging like I've done. The triangles, specifically the triangle in the center, the triangles at the edges, you'll see that X perfectly lines up with several triangles in the background. That's how you know you have the stamp set up properly is when those little triangles are touching that line and this line is going through the center of them. In Concord and Ninth, they'll have a video about this, about that alignment. But once you get that done, you can put your cardstock anywhere on that six by six jig and you will get this amazing pattern by rotating your cardstock three times to stamp four different colors. So my last color is black because I thought that would be fun with the primaries. And I am going to heat set this just to make sure that black ink is dry and I don't smudge it with my embossing buddy. I'm using the embossing buddy to make sure there's no ink that's going to pick up stray embossing powder. And I'll put this back in my Misty and you can see since mine says Concord and Ninth on one side and I knew I ended up with that on the right. As long as I put the cardstock back that way, I will be embossing just the last step that I did, which is the black. Now you can see I have two 
Versamarks. One's super grungy, one's not as grungy. So I'm going to use the super grungy one since I just stamped in black. And I'm just going to add embossing to the black for an effect I call a spot gloss, which is a printing term for selectively adding clear, shiny areas to a printed piece of marketing material. So once I have that in there, get it all good and inky. Add the Versamart just to the black. Just be careful you're pulling cardstock and your jig down so they don't come apart. I like double versa marking because I think it makes it smoother and shinier. Now I can remove the cardstock from the jig. And now you'll see why I used a messy mat for my video because I'm using embossing powder and I can just take this mat and throw it in the trash. So I'll just shake that all over. This is just clear embossing powder, by the way. Excuse my croaking. I always give it a good thump to get the excess off. Speed up the heat setting. Embossing is still the most magical process in all the stamping land. Look how shiny and perfect that is. Such a fun, punchy image. I just love it. So next up is the mini mandalas stamp set, which is a fun layering mandala. Yes, rhymes like gondola stamp set. And it comes with this little acetate guide. And I will show you how that works. It helps you make sure that you have each layer positioned perfectly. So let me grab a white piece of paper so you can see it. And it says, if you can read this, it's the right side up. So you'll know whether you have this positioned properly. And you'll want to put this guy down first into your Misty. You can use the mini Misty for this one. Now, for some reason, this piece of paper was buckling. I don't know why. So I'm going to get a different piece of paper that doesn't buckle because that was kind of driving me crazy. That one might have just been cut a little funky. So I'll put that in there. Put the guide down. And the reason they included this guide is photopolymer stamps stretch. So when you have a big, open, nearly circular-ish stamp like this, it can stretch a little bit. This guide helps you keep it in the shape it was designed in. So that way, if it's pulled a little bit to one way or another, you can fix that before you stamp it by aligning it with the guide. Then you just pick it up with the lid of your Misty. Remove the guide, and now you're ready to stamp. So for this, I just wanted to do a simple gray and yellow. So I'm using Smoky Slate. And inking up the first image. These stamp lines are so crisp and thin, you will not believe how delicate it is. And they stamp perfectly. There's no distortion. But I'm just amazed at how thin the lines are. So the outside will be Smoky Slate. The next layer, you'll need to put your transparency back in on top of your image before you line up the stamp and secure that with a magnet. Make sure it's completely straight and lined up with the image that you just stamped. I had mine a little bit off. Transparency can bend a little bit too, so just make sure you've got it in the right spot and stick the magnet down. And now you just align the second layer with the image on the transparency. 
I'll speed this up a little bit since it's sort of repetitive. The next level is Daffodil Delight. It's one of my favorite color schemes, yellow and gray. I just think it's super classy with this real elegant image. So I'll alternate back to Smoky Slate for the third level. And then Transparency back again, back to Daffodil Delight. And then there's also a tiny stamp you can overstamp the center with if you want to. I did not do that here. I just wanted you to see how the stamp set and the transparency work. So those are two fun, super exciting new products that you'll be able to do a lot with. I love how smart it was to design something that could work with the Misty, and so I knew I had to have it. And I'm really for me, I'm just in awe of companies that continue to be this inventive. So I hope you enjoyed this. Concord and Ninth is having a blog hop today with some giveaways. So be sure and stop by my blog for your chance to win. And thank you for putting up with my scratchy voice. Thanks so much for watching.